This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Ravensburg. This map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game mod hub. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Let me read you a bit of the description. It says, Welcome to Ravensburg. Map is fictitious, but similarities in names with real towns are intentional. A middle German landscape with real attention to detail awaits you in the look of the model railway and invites you to discover and linger. Again, there is paintable soil with plants and bushes. Map is seasons ready with support for Maze Plus by increasing the number of tipple, tippable heaps. Uh, that is basically PC only, uh, that function. Content. Map includes two pre-built farms, completely sellable, also borders and fences, four towns, villages, 44 fields, seven meadows, and 18 woodland sections, six area for placeable objects, uh, one cow shed installed on each farm, one horse farm, three railroad silos, a railway station for wood, PGA, uh, eight points of sales for crops, two for wool, wood, bales, and wood chips, dynamic AI traffic with various speeds, a support for the manure system and the BGA at the BGA and cow sheds. And again, that is PC only. Adapted transport missions with new pallets, field grass as an additional crop type, uh, new grass textures with flowers, Homer T440 and Ropa Panther 2 converted for potato harvest. This map is seasons ready with a seasons mask. The map is maze plus ready as far as adding that for PC players. Precision farming support with a custom soil map and support for the hot animated object extend mod. Not really sure what that is, but that is part of the description. Map also includes multi terrain angle. Uh, a script to allow the texture names to appear in the landscaping tool. And as is already said, the number of heaps has been upped in order to facilitate the Maze Plus, Maze Plus Plus, and all the other sundry of Maze Plus mods. Go ahead and add on the mods that we typically take a look at uh, when we do these map videos. Including precision farming. I did load this map up with seasons and straw harvest. There were no problems whatsoever. And I wouldn't expect there to be any problems if this map has been uh, prepared for Maze Plus uh, because, well, seasons and straw harvest add their own tip to ground items, uh, but Maze Plus adds a whole lot more. Map is just loading up here. There are a ton of placeables that need to load in and starting equipment i will say if you start this map up on farm manager or start from scratch all the farms are pre-built but in farm manager in start from scratch uh, the land is not owned nor do you have any vehicles so let's go ahead and take a look at the map zoom on out here we have a standard size map available to us with field grass here as acre grass. Uh, looking at the icon, the best I can guess, this is grass for grass seed sake. Uh, so we have all of our standard crops available to us on Farm Sim 19, including field grass or acre grass. We take a look at the lands. We start out by owning a farm in the north section of the map, as well as fields nine and 10. Also a farm down here to the south. And then the horse area is over here under field 15. Horse area is just $2,400. Biogas plant is over here at $127,000. Biogas plant. The main farm, if you were to buy it, is $81,600. Field 9 is $116,000. And field 10 is $97,000. The field 10 is mostly sandy loam. Field 9 is mostly sandy loam with a little loamy sand. 
Uh, down here, we have the second farm pre-built. $81,599 to buy that one. Are a couple large placeable areas like this one here. Below the agricultural trade for $158,000. One over here for $63,000. I have one up here by this town. Is $66,500. And then there are a few smaller ones placed around the map. In kind of these forested areas. I don't know if those are the ones uh, that the map author is talking about or not, but there's one there, here, and one here, here, here. Let's take a look at some of these other fields. Uh, big old field one is 18 acres in size, 5.96 hectares, according, and has a complete Breakdown of loamy sand, sandy loam, and loam uh, with a 101% yield potential, $438,000. Here at field 40, $389,000. Then we have smaller areas like field 28, nine acres, one hectare in size, $5,000. So there are fields for all types of players and machinery type. Now, let's take a look at our soil map. And if we look at this, you're going to see that we kind of have an interesting soil map. We've got the waterway right here, and a lot of the silty clay is basically along this waterway. There's a built bit of silty clay up here in this area also. But pretty much the rest of the map is loam. Sandy loam or loamy sand. Got a lot of sandy loam and loamy sand here to the north and the south. And then kind of a mix in of loam kind of in the middles here. So an interesting, diverse set of soil types are going to be found here on the map. Take a look at our prices. Cell point, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cell points. That are going to accept the bulk of our grain crops. Got a pair of sell points for cotton. Sugar mill will take our sugar beets and sugar cane. Uh, this map does include a little bit of seasons geo within the map uh, in order to provide growth information for the field grass. We have one, two, three sell points for our eggs and three sell points for milk. Two cell points for wool. You have a cell point for wood chips down here at the energy farm. Two cell points for silage, hay straw, and grass. Even if you don't own the BGA, you'll be able to sell that. And then if we go on over here, we can see we have multiple cell points for our field grass, or as the map calls it, acre grass. And then we have two cell points for our hay straw and grass pellets, should we have straw harvest enabled. A look at our starting equipment. It is all brand new and well maintained. None of it is leased. I'm going to take a closer look at our starting equipment very, very shortly. And something I have to tell you about is we do start with animals. We start with 12 cows in the northern farm. And if we buy the southern farm, there's another 12 cows down here. Go ahead and buy this. While we're at it, and you're going to see, you now have German cow stable and a German cow stable. I wish these were marked north and south. That would kind of kind of help out quite a bit. Uh, but we have 12 cows in each. You're going to play with seasons. Uh, you're going to need to get rid of these cows, EDQ, or get some food in there for them the first day, or they're just going to, well, sadly become something other than living cows. You have contracts also available here on the map. Now, let's take a look at that starting equipment. Start out with the New Holland T6-125 and the Case 7210 tractors. Range of horsepower from 125 to 170 horsepower. And the Massey Ferguson 7347S Harvester. That is paired with the Free Flow 25-foot grain header and the 8-row um, Capello corn and sunflower header. 
We have an Agriliner TKD 302 trailer and the 2014 pickup truck. We have a Coon DC 401 subsoiler, BTF 4000 seeder, and that is paired with the TF 1512 seed hopper. We have the Cleveland Optima 5 planter, and that is then accompanied with the Hardy Mega 2200 sprayer, Redal K105 fertilized and lime spreader. We have the Kuhn side mower and tedder. We also have the Kuhn wheel rake, Bergman Repex 34S forage wagon, and the MKS 8 liquid trailer. Now, this is a modded MKS, so it's going to accept our herbicide, water, milk, and liquid fertilizer. We have front loader arms, bale spikes, uh, bale, sorry, header trailer. Then we have pair of front weights, and then we have the custom cow stables, custom silos, and silage bunkers, liquid fertilizer, and fertilizer, lime, and seed storage. Since we bought both of those farms, we're seeing both of those duplicated. Okay. Now, field hall, machinery hall, all of these buildings are all part of the farms that we have purchased. That's why it's all duplicated here. Now, let's go back here to vehicles and take a look. We do have the modded equipment in here. Find it. Potato, the Ropa Tiger 6 XL for potatoes and the Paradox T440. Been modified it, modified for potatoes. Check a couple other areas. And then we have the corresponding Ropa and Homer headers here for the potatoes under potato technology. Now, if we take a look at the placeables, we can sell all of these buildings, but we can't buy them back. I think this is a huge oversight by the map author. We can sell the buildings, but we can't buy them back. What if we want to use that cow shed? We just don't want it in that orientation. What if we want to use that cow shed, but we want to use it in this area here or down here or over here? We can't because it's not viable. So a huge oversight, I hope, in an update on that all of the buildings that are sellable can become viable here in the shop. That holds true for pretty much everything that is sellable. We had a custom silo. We don't. We can place our storage silos down for lime, fertilizer, seed, and our liquids. We can't put down the custom grain silo, nor can we put down the custom silage bunker uh, that we could sell. We have some custom sheds that we own, but we can't put them back down. And then, of course, we've got the farmhouse. We can put it down. So, with that said, go ahead and well, let's start taking a look around the map. Now, first off, I want to say big props to the map author. I know it probably was not intentional, but uh, we can get the floater look uh, done early because we actually have two. We've got one right here by the church. See right there. And then we have one up the hill here a little bit in this lamppost. So check on the floaters. We don't have to look anymore. We have found ourselves two. Hopefully that'll get fixed in an update. I'm just going to go ahead and tab real quick to the start farm. I did say this already, but I'll say it again. If you start this map up on Farm Manager or start from scratch, uh, the buildings will be here, cows will be here, but the equipment will not be here, nor will the land be owned. We'll have to buy the land. Got our farmhouse here, of course, and the subsequent sleep trigger right here at the door. There we go. Got our pickup truck and our custom silo. Silo is custom because we have our red marker here. Go in here and left click to turn that off or back on. Do not want to see that. 
harvesters header and such over here got a nice wash bay and then we have our cow shed go ahead and take a look at our cow shed we got really cool hot air balloons up there we have the cloths and we have an eight ball hot air balloon you can see our custom grass love this grass with the little daisies in here this has been added got like little what those are you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying people here we've got our water trough now we activate the animal pin extension the where the water troughs are also helps us locate where the milk trigger is going to be at uh, but basically we also want to see do we have custom support for these water pipes the fact that they are centered here tells us that the map does not include custom support for the water pipes but we can place them in game should we so wish got our animal buy and delivery trigger right here at the door this particular building will hold 100 cattle and this is interesting when you open this is you click and then you have to wait opens the upper part and then the lower part so we have our food trough and our straw trigger here at the floor and we click to open and we have to wait I suspect in most folks gameplay we're just gonna leave the doors open we have our milk trigger right here and this is part of animal pen extension that helps us basically locate where that milk trigger is and we can move this around and place it wherever we want have our slurry trigger and our manure pile on the corner here we have our feed lime and around back we have our fertilizer silos liquid and herbicide silos and all of these again click to turn off There's the other one. Lime. And this probably lifts up on its own. I don't see a trigger activating that. We have our silage bunker right here. Trigger for that. And that people is the uh, is the main starting farm on New Farmer. Go ahead and get set up for the fly around. And this will allow us to get a bit of an overview of the map from a higher elevation. We'll say I do like the implementation of the distant scenery. Good. Holds up until you get, you know, it holds up if you're not, as long as you're not super high up in the sky. We also have a really great train that we're going to take a ride on to kind of help explore the map. And take a look here. And the dealer is here, kind of in the middle across the water. Cell point here and fuel station. Now, this is interesting. This is our workshop. It'll be where we get our vehicles maintained, repaired, and sold, is separate from the dealer. One of the placeable areas that we can put down as a additional farm or for building out factories, production, or whatever you want. Have a water trigger here at the hour. Then we have our biogas plant there. Round. Map off the distance. You have some animated barges running up and down the waterway here. I split the map. You have another one of those placeable areas. And then we're moving here into forested. Nice forested area. Bellsburn Castle. Up here on the hill, 
like how the road winds up and around. Really, really nice treatment on this map. Really nice details. Well decorated. There really isn't a, uh, a barren spot on the map where you think, man, I wish, wish the map author would have done something with that. Loop on around, and this is the second dairy farm. Right here, we're going to take a closer look at that later on. We have a second town, another one of those big placeable areas. I like how it's been kind of left where it's concrete is uh, kind of being taken over by bushes and dirt. And as such, to, uh, just being vacant quite a long time. And now let's go ahead and just kind of tab into the train. And uh, take a ride around the train and experience the map from that perspective. See where we are here. Across the waterway. Zoom on out. We do have multiple cell points for the train. Railroad Silo West is going to be a railroad silo, not necessarily a cell point. It's the train's been done fairly well with respect to how its uh, its curves are. We're not going through super sharp turns. A lot of the turns are fairly wide and fairly sweeping. Lots of train elevation changes. Like how the railroad track is, is higher up than the road coming through here. Really, really picturesque, if you will, coming through here like this. The, uh, the, the wall here, the privacy wall, separating out some, you know, folks' backyards from the train. Towns here, really well done. Top notch map. Top notch map. And we do have at least one tunnel. Might be another one, I forget. Right through the tunnel, we got some graffiti painted on in here. Gosh, I could just ride the train. Looks so great. Amazing. Got road kind of winding through the forested area there. Here we have a cell point for... Maybe not a cell point, but a logging transfer area to transfer, transfer logs to the two log cars around back and to keep the camera out of the trees that can be problematic now here we got the train below the road lots of changes in elevation here bridges really good work I think oftentimes map authors not that they get hung up or the shortcoming um, but a lot of the time we think 2d and you know we don't we don't have bridges and underpasses and overpasses we've got a you know, flat plane that might have some hills to it but uh, I don't need to there um, yeah river really cool so when you do come across a map that really does take advantage of that third dimension, up and down, height, uh, it really does stand out. That distance scenery really does really does aid in the uh, in the imagination. Look way off, I don't know if you can see it way off in the distance over there. 
we have up on the hill windmills that are moving might be hard to see depending on your uh, your screen resolution but way off in the distance pretty much just in front of the train we have windmills spinning And we're just about ready to put an end our train ride. I'm here along the waterway. Got that animated barge, multiple animated barges running up and down the waterway. All right, let's make our way over to the vehicle shop up the other side of the river. Oops. What am I doing? Get a little altitude. Up, up, and away, people. And here we are at vehicle shop. I was mistaken. We do have a customized repair and sell trigger down here at the shop. We also have one north side of the map. Don't have to come across the river. This is going to be available for us to use. Could we so wish? We got some nice decorative elements here. Font light up at night. Nice. And I guess the shop has a dog. We're gonna see a couple dogs because when we loaded up the uh, loaded up the map, I saw several entries for a dog. And there is the spawn point for our new equipment. Really nice shop here. Go ahead and open up the gate. And uh, now we'll get started with our drive around. So there's quite a bit of activity here in town. So let's go ahead and Across the street to the dock. And over here we have a cell point tip location. And then we also have multiple fill triggers. And one for fertilizer, feed. down this way for this is herbicide lots of great ambient sounds we have lime right here liquid fertilizer we're here at the entry way over here to the gas station You have what appears to be 
two fuel triggers, station one and gas station two. Kind of an old pump there around back. Got a wash bay right here. Going across the street to the animal dealer. Animal dealer there. You have a bale, hay, straw, grass, cell point. All right here. Have a cell point for flurry. And then manure. Round back. Actually, these look like they are purchase points. Any place that is literally going to buy our manure or slurry. We do not. They are to buy, purchase. We can purchase products from there. On the map. And... Uh, on down here to spinnery is fire station there is the cell point <laughs> how you properly get into here there you go there dump point here This is the Ravensburg train mill. And then the spinnery. Head on let's just figure out where this is going to take us this road yeah, this road should take us over here to the second farm. Remember, this farm is not owned at the start. This is a farm that we purchased. And as a result of buying it, we can sell all of the buildings. Can't necessarily buy many of the buildings that are here on the farm. Really nice lane back into here. Like the like the different elevations. That is a common theme that we're going to talk about on this map for sure. And we've got more of these fill silos, feed, liquids, 
fertilizers. Wash bay over here. With pressure washer. Farm silo. Down the hill we have our silage bunker. And our farmhouse. Got the trigger for that. I'm a silo. And let's go ahead and head over here to the cow pen. Same cow pen as is over at the other farm. So all the triggers are at the same location. And we have the same combination of cows here at this particular area. What I want to do is I want to try... Because remember the description talked about having the names here on the paint. I wanted to give a little splatter down and just put all they were. We have animal mud, boom, um, asphalt, damaged asphalt, dark asphalt, cobblestone, two. Three concrete, damaged concrete, dirt, oh dirt, wet dirt, forest ground, forest ground two, grass and grass, grass and weed, flowers, grass and bush, state one, two, three. Or, you know, these are we going to have grass, rough, and grass, down grass and grass, gravel, dark mud, wet, plates damaged, plates, rock, dark rock, and that to him. Wow, that's a lot. And arc rock. Plates. Plates. Wet. Travel. Down grass and grass. Rough grass. Bushes, various types of grass. Probably shouldn't have put these where there's already grass, but grass and flowers, grass and weeds, grass, forest ground, forest ground, wet dirt, dirt, damaged concrete, concrete, cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone. Dark asphalt, damaged asphalt, asphalt, and animal dirt. That should be most of them. Head on back up here and get in the Mahindra and continue our drive. Head out this way. Probably that could probably be like a placeable area right there. Now we're down here, we can see more. Those are the windmills I was talking about being up on the hill that we could see way, way from the other side of the map. And 
uh, energy farm. This is where we can sell our wood chips, if you remember. point for the wood chips and we'll have to kind of double back around I guess to go up and get that grain mill. This will also let us drive past this other large, flat, kind of abandoned buildable area. It's up here on this hill, actually. flat area up there. Now we're coming into another little town. Have another cell point and a dog. Yeah, with everybody and their dogs. Please, businesses have these dogs. There's our dump station. And let's head on over here. See what this white trigger marker is. This appears to be a log selling station with the activation trigger hidden a little bit. It is we even get to it? F1 is working. Oh, there we go. R, we got the sell wood come up. That is a wood selling point, but the trigger is hidden. Bit in that wood pile, log pile. I need to. Cut through the forest here to get to the other road and to kind of double back up to our brain elevator. A shadow cast by the uh, Hot air balloons over there. This is not a road. Not a road, people. And 
That is not a road. Figure out how to get down to that. All right, so. Like we need to cut through town. And. Oh. Oh, we've got the golden. Golden animals from Ravenport or Felsburn, sorry. Animals Felsburn here at the town circle. This is the way we need to go. Grain mill. Grain elevator is a cell point for trains as well as uh, trailers. We have two dump stations. Oh. This road is going to Take us back to the farm. Wanted to use it as a bit of a shortcut. Just back on track. Castle off in the distance. Plane flying around the hot air balloons. Lots of activity, lots of movement on the map. Let's head on over here to the sugar mill. Water trigger. Uh, there is the log train. I don't think we necessarily need to drive past that. Another little, little residential industrial area. Then the water trigger here at this pond. Really cool area. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to make a windy road way up to the uh, the castle to get over to Anik area in person driving around lots of details with the graffiti on these bridges underpasses
Road's done, been done very nice on here. You don't really see road pieces being pieced together. Watch for falling rock signs. Why? Definitely see why. Hey, hey, hey. Quite an impressive map for being just a standard, standard size map. Here we have a workshop trigger. I sell, customize, and trade trigger because we did have the return option there. Have a fuel trigger right there. Another one of those placeable areas. Come in here, buy it, clear it out, and put in whatever we want. Farm, industrial area with some production placeables. Pretty much whatever. Up the hill, down, have another grain mill. Combination trailer or grain. Transfer station. Okay, it's not a cell point. It doesn't have a yellow icon. It has a white icon. These are transfer stations. Dump to and from. Train to trailer. Trailer to train. One more grouping of cell points, then we'll make our way across the waterway. We have a dump station here at grain storage. We also have fill points for speed, lime, and Fertilizer, herbicide, liquid herbicide, liquid herbicide, of course it's liquid. herbicide and um, liquid fertilizer.
Here it looks like we can buy pig food, chicken food, meaning wheat. Have a dump station. We have a purchase point for mixed rations and oats. Make our way over here to the another animal dealer as well as the horse farm or horse area. I don't know if it's really properly can be properly called a farm or like an equine center. Trigger there. I'll just walk here. Eating area, playground, riding rink, and then this is basically the farm sim horse pen, draw trigger, water, food, and our delivery point. Around here. Don't own it, so we can't buy it. Count back in, and now we can hold 16 horses. Does appear to be a cell point around back. Go check that out. So it's another hay straw, grass, silage, bale, cell point. Oops, okay. Fence have collisions. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Alright, almost done everybody. Almost done. Gotta get out of here. Let's head on up to the biogas plant. I think this is going to loop us over there. Now I hope it's going to loop us over there. Here we are, biogas, scale coming in, we have our digestate, trigger right there, we have our digester inside the building, and our dump station for silage, and then we have our two bunkers, one and a bunker two. We have the water tower that we saw on the fly around it is an active water trigger there another viable area
this is second spinnery spinnery ravensburg other spinnery was login hide Now we have our workshop. We have another workshop trigger right here. Fuel station across the street. I believe we have a wash bay in there. Yep, under the shed. Another log stop point. This where is where we can unload the logs. We load it up on the train to sell. Coming over here to where our start farm is located. Another cell point and liquid herbicide, fertilizer, fill triggers. Another one of those train trailer transfer stations. And let's head on over here to Railroad Silo West. And that's where we're going to call it. I know I've said this a few times, but uh, this map does really great work with Terrain elevation changes really makes you uh, really gives you an added feel for things in having a lot of elevation changes, having underpasses, overpasses. Windy roads, the road network is really nice. You don't see any sort of break in the road texture where it's been east together. Some maps you get up, you get where like you go over a hump and it's clear the road pieces have been kind of pieced together. But somehow this is all just continuously smooth in one whole piece almost. And multiple fill points need train dump station, lime and fertilizer over here. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think of Ravensburg? Again, this map is available for all platforms and it can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website. There is a link in the description below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.